Welcome to What's Up Poland. This is the incredible story that lying behind a Warsaw floorboard, floorboard in the city of Warsaw, the capital of Poland, a unique discovery from the Second World War. This is a secret radio set that was described as an electric cooking stove. How bad boy is that? It's so cool. So during the Second World War, obviously there was a great thirst for news and information. It wasn't like today where you can just pop onto anything, your watch, your phone, the internet, listen to the radio and TV. Information was strictly controlled. And as you can imagine, the um, German Nazi uh, occupiers of occupied Europe did everything they could to make sure that no news from outside occupied Europe got in. But that news was absolutely crucial for morale and for strategic reasons. So as you can imagine, people were very keen on finding out about the news. But this was something that was punishable with death. If you were caught with a radio in occupied Poland, um, there would be very serious consequences for you. No questions asked, you'd be shot on the spot. So um, this is the news that a secret radio used to listen to allied broadcasts um, by the World War II Polish resistance, which was the biggest uh, resistance in occupied Europe, has been discovered just beneath the removable floor tile. And Here's the thing. It turns out that it was used by one of the most incredible spies of the Second World War, Jan Karski, known as the Courier. And he was actually there in between 1941 and 1942. And he was the first person to inform the Allies, including very senior um, leaders in the US, about the Warsaw Ghetto, which he personally went and visited, and the Belgette's death camp uh, as well. So he was actually in those places. He smuggled himself in and he went out to the West and told the world about it. And I'll never forget the phrase he was used, which I think a senior American senator said to him, listen, I hear you, but it's impossible for me to understand what you're saying. So the facts about the Holocaust that we now know, which are established facts beyond debate, were not at the time. And it was in incomprehensible for people to hear what Karski was saying. Wow. Can you imagine what a burden that was? So this remarkable man life, uh, man's life has now been brought into color uh, because this radio set has been found and uh, apparently it's documented that he would have used it and of course it's the ingenious thing that is described as an electric cooking stove how cool is that <laughs> um it's been passed over to the warsaw rising museum um, which i highly recommend if anyone's in warsaw to go and have a look which all documents the underground resistance before the rising and of course the warsaw rising itself and you know as I often walk around warsaw's historic uh, streets i went to the mokotov district which is you know one of the untouched districts of warsaw um, mostly untouched, it was very heavily bombed and attacked from all sorts of corners, terrible things happened there. I often find myself thinking, what lies in them that are floorboards? Because I can tell you now, there's so many secrets that are hidden behind walls and in floors. There's letters, there's farewell messages, there's evidence, there's weaponry and guns. For example, um, Vitol Pilecki, who's uh, one of the greatest heroes of the Second World War. If you don't know his story, I highly recommend you come onto thefirstnews.com to find out more. He's well documented to have stored a lot of weaponry in Warsaw apartments. So behind those walls and in the streets, there's all sorts of um, uh, machine pistols and pistols and grenades and radios and books and materials and armbands and historic artifacts. Yeah, there's interesting things. and. In a way, it's what keeps the story alive, because every time you see it, you are transported directly to the moment where someone put that into the floorboards, probably in a rush, probably in great stress, and it connects us to them. They're not black and white pictures. They're real people living real lives, and we are privileged enough to be able to have these things from those lives with us still today. If you're interested in the subject of Polish resistance during the Second World War, what it was like in occupied Poland for both Poles, ethnic Poles and Polish Jews, then good news. You can visit thefirstnews.com, which is an absolutely jam packed resource full of information about um, the occupation in Poland and a whole bunch of other topics as well, including up to date news and culture and all sorts of things going on in Poland. I highly encourage you to do that. And of course, subscribe to this channel, What's Up Poland, for regular information about the country of Poland. I'll see you again for another episode of What's Up Poland.